Hello, and welcome to One Cool Thing, PC Mag's daily show on Facebook, where we show you one cool thing we are testing out in the PC Mag labs. I'm Sasha Segan, this is Carol Mangus, and we have Social Pete on the con as usual, collecting your questions, comments, uh, heckles, you know. Uh, <laughs> Taunts, it, jeers. Yeah, exactly, trolls. Uh, anything <laughs> that you want to say to us, say to Social Pete in the comments field. Hopefully he will read it out to us and we will answer any of your questions. We have a really, really cool, strange thing that you, you might not be familiar with, uh, but if you don't have kids today, I'm really excited to show it off to you. It is the latest kit from Little Bits. And so what is, what is this, first of all, who are Little Bits and, and what do they make for whom? Okay, so Little Bits is a, um, they started off as a very small company. Um, a little bit of a company? A little bit of a company. Their product was a kit that contained uh, little modular pieces that snapped together magnetically. Little and Bits. you can create electronic circuits with them. Um, and they are just so innovative and cool, and everybody fell in love with them immediately. And uh, you can do projects with them and create your own, you know, sort of sort of structures to go around them. And they can move, and they can light up, and make sounds, and all kinds of things like that. And one thing that strikes me about Little Bits is how, um, rather than it just being teaching electrical engineering, how complex some of the bits are. Like we've yes. we've done a lot of bits in the past, and for instance, I. The stuff over here I pulled from our old Little Bits kit, and like this one appears to be an entire Korg synthesizer. <laughs> they put a lot into their Little Bits. Um, <laughs> some of them are really complex. So it kind of takes that element out of it for kids who are learning how to build these circuits. Mm -hmm. They don't have to worry. These, these, each bit has a function like input or power. Um, and Like here we've got a bar graph, a counter, and a temperature <laughs> sensor. There you go. Yeah. I can't right off hand think of a way to use that, but um, but it, a kid could probably. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, the nice thing is that they can so quickly build something that actually works and does something, and they get the idea of how a circuit should flow. So so today's Little Bits kit is the Little Bits Code Kit, and what is, what is new about that? So the Code Kit is a little bit, um, they've gone in a slightly different direction. This is actually made for the educational market. Um, so you can teach up to three kids with this, and the idea is to get kids familiar with and comfortable with and to enjoy coding. Um, so that's a little bit new for Little Bits. Um, so when you say you can teach up to three kids, why can't you teach 20 kids with it? <laughs> well, I think there's a limited amount of bits. Um, ah, okay. Yeah, I mean, unless you have kids working in groups. So we decided to evaluate it, even though we don't normally evaluate educational products, because you could buy this too. You don't have to be a teacher to buy it. Um, if you like little bits and what they do and you want your kids to start playing with coding, it's a great way to start, but it's not the cheapest way. <laughs> so, so what bits does this come with and what can you make out of it? Well, it comes with um, a computer bit, this one right here, that's called the code bit. That's one of the most essential uh, pieces. And now I see that that is different from here I have the Arduino bit. Right. from the Little Bits Arduino at Heart kit, and this is a different bit. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how different it is. I think mm -hmm. it has a very similar function. Okay. You have uh, a couple of inputs, a couple of outputs, um, and you have an app that mm -hmm. the, your teacher or your parent will use to help the kid uh, put these circuits together for different projects. So it's like a, it, it gives you it gives you blueprints for different projects. Exactly, and then it also gives you lots of ideas for how kids can go out on their own and then take what they've built and make something else out of it and so forth and so on. And then this bit is also new. Let me plug this in so you can see it. Mm -hmm. It's an LED bit. Mm -hmm. So part of what you're programming is mm -hmm. the different colors and shapes and so forth. You can mm -hmm. do little animations with it. So that's a really fun bit. Yeah, and in the past I've only seen, uh, and, and we've got more bits here, like I, I've only seen, for instance, single LED bits or right. linear bar graphs. These are, these are the past bits, and this is a much more complex bit. Yes, uh, yes it is. And it, ha it serves a lot of different functions, and kids can decide how they want it how they want to use it. But on this particular project, which is the one I chose to do, this is an electric guitar. Mm -hmm. um, and so I have the LED to make it look really like cool and rock and roll. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have this button, which makes sounds come out. Okay. And then we have this little slider that changes mm -hmm. the pitch. Mm -hmm. And a speaker. And a speaker, yeah. Now, 
Are we looking at all the bits that come in the kit, or are there a lot more bits? There are other bits. This is, I think, most of the bits that come in the, in the kit. Mm -hmm. So again, you'd probably need several kits for a classroom, but just one for a family, I would think. Uh, it looks like we might have some questions already. Okay. How long did it take to make that uh, instrument? Oh, so funny story. Um, <laughs> I'm not the craftiest person in the world, in case you couldn't tell. So the circuit itself was very easy to put together. It took me about 10 or 15 minutes. It took me about two hours to make the guitar. <laughs> which is, it's it's kind of sad, I know. Um, it's made out of poster board and magic marker. Now, now, what about the... Now, this is a code kit, not just a bit kit. What about the programming? What language is it in? What kind of resources are there? Is the language free to use? Uh, yeah, the language, well, you know, everything comes on the app. The app is actually for, it, normally they, it would be based on a smart device, but it's PC based for this. Mm -hmm. Because the app not only gives you directions for your projects, but also sends you to all these online resources that teachers can use with printouts and lesson plans and mm -hmm. everything you might need to, to teach a class with this thing. Um, sorry, I forgot your original question. <laughs> so, I, so I was saying, like, what language is it programmed in? The language, in? yeah, is it's based on Google Blockly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's like an, sort of an open source language. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of Blockly based right. educational programming tools. I think the uh, OzoBots, which we've reviewed in the past, mm -hmm. use something called Ozo Blockly. Okay, and it's a it's 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 a springboard for a lot of different educational languages. Right, right. So that's what that's what Little Bits used as well. So instead of the kid. The kid doesn't have to sit there and write lines of code. They right. are they have um, modules that they'll drag and drop onto a coding screen in a certain order, and that's how the code is built. Now, do you know if this is the only little bits kit that you can code? Or, I mean, I assume with the Arduino kit, for instance, you right. got to code it somehow. Right, yes, that's true. Uh, the Arduino kit doesn't have all the educational stuff that comes along with it. Mm. But it's it's cer certainly an alternative to that. So when you're talking about the educational stuff, you mean like supporting materials and sample mm. projects and that yeah. sort of thing? All that sort of thing, yeah. OK, OK. Yeah. And kids can share their projects online, too. So if I did a variation on the guitar, like there's a there's a lesson that teaches you how to, how to make a, a different kind of musical instrument with mm -hmm. this. Um, and I created my own. I could share that with other kids. Now, if you think these bits are cool, but you're not a teacher and you don't need all of these educational materials, like, mm -hmm. but you want this LED bit, can you get that bit individually, or do you have to buy the $300 kit? Um, I, you know, I haven't checked whether you can do that, but mm -hmm. I think... It's normally little bits way is to is to let you buy whichever bits you want and use them all together. Okay. I mean, every, everything, all the bits work with all the other bits. So. so it's compatible with all of these other bits which we've acquired over the years Absolutely. as well. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Okay. We, we could really build something amazing with all those bits. We really could. We, we have even more bits than this. We do. Okay, <laughs> so many bits. In fact, there's a new kit that I, I haven't completed the review yet from Little Bits where you're building a droid, a little R2-D2 droid. Mm -hmm. um, and all of those bits work with this as well, so. So now I've seen, so, so I've seen a lot of uh, educational, uh, educational robotics kits. Right. Um, what else is out there uh, that uh, competes with little bits in terms of electronics assembly, I guess? Um, well, the, the most recent review I did was uh, the Lego Boost kit. So mm -hmm. Lego's had robotics kits for years, the Mindstorms kits, which are mm -hmm. wonderful, but they can be pretty challenging, especially for littler kids. Mm -hmm. So Lego came out with a boost kit, which it still took me about eight hours to put the <laughs> robot together, but it was really fun. And then you can code the robot, send your code to the robot from your smart device, and direct its actions. And it was super fun to, to build. Yeah, but what, what, I, what I find particularly interesting about Little Bits here is that as I said, I've seen a lot of these robots. I've seen Mindstorm as a robot, basically. The Boost animal you made is basically a robot. Right. Mm -hmm. um, we recently looked at, uh, there's a Parrot Mambo drone that you can program with Tinker, so mm. another robot. Ozobots, another robot. Mm -hmm. what, what, what I'm finding particularly interesting is that you can make projects here that are not robots. It, yes, you can, actually. Most of them are not robots. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it, Little Bits has always had this sort of maker um, DIY thing going on. So uh, the projects not only include their electronic circuits, but mm -hmm. then they say, you know, get paper, get magic markers, glue, glitter, you know, build something that you can do that you can put around your circuit so it'll do something cool. And it really, I think, opens up creativity quite a lot. Now, if you don't want, like, if you don't have 
$300, you know, and, and the price, I noticed in our review, which is up here, the price is basically your number one con. Uh, yeah, and pretty much. <laughs> if you don't have $300, how much does it cost to start with little bits in general? Um, uh, their, their basic kit, I think, is around 200 which is the mm -hmm. Gadgets and Gizmo mm -hmm. kit. That's the one that we gave an editor's choice to because okay. it's just remarkable and you get so much with it. So much flexibility. Yeah. Um, I will have to double check that price, but it's, it's, it's definitely less expensive than this one. What ages would you recommend Little Bits for? Um, honestly, um, I think that kids as young as six, seven mm -hmm. could could use these and understand them and put them together. They're so easy to put together as long as they have the basic principles of how the circuit needs to work. Mm -hmm. um, this this kit, I think, is great for younger kids, too. Okay, um, but up to? Up to, it depends on the kid, really, maybe 12, something like mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. Although I know many adults who are really into the little bits. <laughs> yeah, our own, so. our own Will Greenwald. <laughs> yes, Definitely yes. Into, the, into the little bits. Yeah, but yeah I, I have a, which I frequently mention on this show, I, I have an 11-year-old daughter and I think she would be totally into this. She's mm -hmm. a heavy programmer in uh, MIT Scratch, mm -hmm. which is another one of those block languages. There's so many of those block languages out there yeah. right now. Um, I think she would be into this. I should get her into the office, check it out. Um, <laughs> do, we, do we have any more questions out there? How many schools have adopted these? Or, like, are they very common in the classrooms now? Um, I don't. I, I would doubt they're common yet because it's really pretty new. But um, yeah, I mean, I, I think that it's something that a lot of schools would jump at because there's so much emphasis these days on STEM, on getting kids interested in science, technology, et cetera. And this is a really fun and engaging way. To I get do them. feel like the cost may be a bit of a barrier for yeah for schools as well as families. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Yeah, but uh, I think once you get the kits in, um, mm -hmm. there's so many things you can do with them, so many projects you can do. I mean, it's really extensible, so. Um, what, are, what are some of the other, like, so you were talking about, uh, so you've shown us this electric guitar. Mm -hmm. What are, say, two of the other really cool projects that um, you saw out there? Let's see, there's, there's a, a, it's basically based on games. I mean, mm -hmm. there's, so there's, there's a little game where you're, you're, you build a little hoop and a little uh, a goal, mm -hmm. and you use uh, rolled up pieces of paper to throw at the target. Mm -hmm. And if you hit the target, you get a little hmm. electronic, mm -hmm. you know. There's a counter here. Maybe the counter goes up. <laughs> we could probably use that. <laughs> yeah, we could. Let's see. I don't see, think that yeah. came in the kit, but again, these things all work together. Yeah, so, so like you could use the counter, yeah. and you could use the... Um, <laughs> hang on, I'm, 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 I'm looking for something else. Like you Some could kind use... of a pressure sensor, so that when you hit the thing with the paper... Yeah, I don't have, I don't have a pressure sensor here, but I've got a light sensor, so okay. maybe... that could work. Yeah, if it like, blocks the light sensor, right, right. then the counter goes <laughs> up, and now you see, we're, we're already making this project right here. Right, right. It's, it, yeah, I mean, it's, it's so much fun. You can, you can make it look however you want to make it, you know. Um, mm -hmm. There's a, the other project I'm trying to remember, it's a... It's something to do with monsters. That's all I remember. Okay. But you can create your own monsters. You know, draw your own your own creatures. And let's say, are you are you are you making the monster? Are you bringing the monster to life, or are you killing monsters? No, no, no. no, no. It's it's a friendly monster. Okay, it's a good, it's a friendly monster. <laughs> it's your monster. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Any more questions out there? I think we're all set. Great. So, in okay. terms of tech toys, mm -hmm. not an editor's choice because the price, right? Basically, and also, like I said, we evaluate it on, uh, not, not for schools, really, but for home use, right, since right. that's what we do. We do that in general. Yeah, yeah. so um, I think there are probably cheaper ways, um, but if a parent's really into the little bits and loves what they do, I think mm -hmm. it's a, it could be a really cool gift for, for their kids. Okay, great, great. So the uh, review of the Little Bits Code Kit is up on PCMag.com. We have given it four stars, not an editor's choice, because... It is $300. It's pricey. Yeah. yeah. Uh, could be good for your well-funded classroom, though. Uh, any more questions out there? Good. Terrific. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Carol. Now, this is, uh, this is, of course, the end of one cool thing for today, but I want to give you guys, a, I want to tell you guys about uh, our incredible lineup of video content tomorrow. As you know, as you may or may not know, tomorrow is Apple Day when the new iPhones will be announced. And if you hang out on PC Mag's Facebook page or turn on your notifications for PC Mag's Facebook live streams, we will be having shows 
throughout the day, um, telling you about the new Apple products, our opinions of the new Apple products, alternatives to the new Apple products, if you don't like Apple, the best things about the new Apple products, if you do like Apple. Uh, come uh, enjoy Apple's, come enjoy Apple's and oranges with us tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you then.